Today I'm going to show you how to take a design that you created in Photoshop, slice it, export the slices for the web, and then import it into Dreamweaver and turn it into a usable file. I have this, si this design from Brandon Pacheco who is kind enough to allow me to use it for this lesson. I'm going to start by selecting my slice tool from the toolbar. You want to make sure that the slice tool is selected, not the slice select tool. I'm going to slice this. I want to make sure that my bar is even going across. So I have the logo as one slice, and then each button will be another. Now Brandon will need to go back and make a slight change to his Photoshop file later or he'll have to live with there's a few blue flecks in his pink area, a few yellow flecks in his blue area, etc. After I'm done slicing, I will name each of these slices. Now the state that I'm currently working with is actually showing the buttons in their depressed or down positions. And I just made an error with this slice, but it's easy to go through and adjust it right after you make the slice because you want to make sure everything lines up perfectly top and bottom. You can also go back and do that later using the slice select tool. So don't panic if you don't get it perfect on your first try. And here I'm not all the way to the end and I want to be all the way to the end. So I'm even top and bottom and have things selected to the end. The bottom portion is going to become my background for the container portion of my website. So now I have basic slices. Now Brandon has, I've got to find it, he, he did not name, he did a great job with the design and he was working for himself, but unfortunately his layers aren't named well. So I'm looking for layer 15 which should have my background colors and it would have been nice, it's okay that he did them all in one layer, it would have been nice if he had named them something more meaningful. So personally, I wouldn't have named these layer 15, I would have named them button backgrounds. That way, if he's working, if he was working with anybody else, which he didn't plan on working with me, then I'd know what they were. Always design as if you're working with somebody else because it's not going to make sense to you if you come back six months later to work on the design. My next step will be to change to my slice select tool. I'm going to double click on each one and please notice I have a height of 219 and I'm going to check that one on each one to make sure it's the same. I don't care if the widths are uniform but I want it to be even going all the way across. What I want to do is give each of these a meaningful name. So I'm going to call this logo. This one will be bio. And this is my up state, not my clicked state. And I'm at 219. This will be portfolio up. And again, I'm checking my height each time. This one will be resume up, and this one will be contact up. And you want to make sure it's an underscore in each one. Ah, I've got a problem here. My height's 218. All right, with my slice select tool, I can move this down. One, double click, that's 221. Okay, let's let's try manually typing this. And that looks like an even match. Fantastic. Now I'll double click on this one and I'm going to call this background. Now that I have everything sliced, I'm going to choose File, Save for Web and Devices. And I want to change this to my four up screen and I want to see what looks best. JPEG is pretty good but I think this looks a little rough. I'm going to try ping 24. Now look at how long that's going to take and it doesn't really look any better. 
let's try ping 8. 41 seconds. It's pretty sharp and clear. JPEG, 13 seconds, pretty sharp and clear. Okay, for the increase or the decrease in file size to make it faster, I'm going to go with a high quality JPEG, which is three seconds more at dial up than my low quality JPEG, but it's sharper and clearer. Um, I am getting a little pixelation there. Let me check ping 8 again. I'm, I still feel, oh, that's JPEG, let's see, ping 8. Ping 8. I'm pretty happy with that. 14K basically versus 4K, but it is much sharper. So this is the format I'm going to want to go with. And I'm going to go back to my optimized, and I'm going to select. Actually, I don't think I need to select anything because I'm going to do all slices. So I'm going to. Oh, I've lost it. Ping 8. I want to make sure ping 8 is everywhere. Ping 8, ping 8, let's choose save, I want to save, I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call it Pacheco site and I'm going to save it on my desktop. Now I actually want to file say for living devices. Here again I want to, I saved it that time but I didn't get all my slices. So I'm going to use my slice select tool and I'm going to hold my shift key down and select each slice, checking here to make sure that it's ping 8 as I select them. And I'm going to have to use my hand tool to move over to see the other two. And then I'll go back to my slice select tool and those should be ping 8. Ping 8, ping 8, they're all ping 8. Shift key. I think I lost my first one. Yeah, I did. And they're all selected. Okay, so now I'm going to choose Save. And here, Images Only, Settings. Uh, default settings, Slices, All User Slices. Now, if I'd done that last time, it would have worked perfectly. Now, I'm going to hit Save. Okay, so I've I'm going to replace the one that was selected last time because I only got one piece. Now, I'm going to check that to make sure that it worked okay. So, I have Pacheco Web. Oh, that's not mine. I have... Where did I save that? Ah, there's my images. It went images directly to my desktop. And I'm okay with that as long as I know where it is. All right, so my next one that I need to do is I need to change this to the down state. So the real thing to do there is just simply turn on the button backgrounds. And I'm going to choose File, Save for Web and Devices. And this time, I'm going to only select my buttons because I don't need to Oops, shift, hand tool. There, now my buttons are selected, but I messed up. I gotta go back, I gotta cancel this. The one thing I forgot to do was I forgot to change these two down because they're gonna save with whatever name I have right here. So I'll double click. Change it from up to down, double click, change, double click, and change. Okay, now I can file Save for Web and Devices, and I'll go ahead and just slide it over so I can get a little piece of each one, Then I'm going to use my Slice Select tool. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure it's ping 8. I'm going to save default, nope, default settings, selected slices, and 
and let's see what I've got. I should, in my images folder, have bio down, bio up, contact down, contact up, logo, portfolio down, portfolio up. I am good to go. They're all pings. They look great. So at this point, I'm going to stop, let you get caught up if you're playing along. In the next step, I'm going to use Dreamweaver and create this as a base for a web page.